Peter from Indigo River Tiny Homes, and we're here to show you our newest model. This is the 28 foot tiny house on wheels, built on a trailer made trailer. This house is totally off grid. This on the for the siding here, we've got wood siding made with the Shoshugi band finish, where we torch it and clean the clean the ashes off and gives it this nice rustic look. A lot of handcrafted details like the shed door here. This has a big storage shed on the front. Inside the storage shed, we've got a 50 gallon water tank. This requires no city utilities. You don't need to be hooked up to any city utilities on this. We've got propane to power the hot water heater and the stove inside. We've got water pumps to pump the water inside. Keeps, keeps your water pressure nice and high. Water filtration system to keep your water clean. Let's go around back because there's something special about this. All right, this is the inverter system for the solar panels. There's nine solar panels up top, and it feeds into this Outback power system, which is a double inverter system. It has 240 volts AC converted from 48 volts DC and four lithium ion batteries. What that means is it can power your house for about three to four days with no sun at all before you have to plug into any generator or anything like that. And it's enough power to run your mini split system, all your lights, and everything inside your house. So let's go on inside. First off, we've got a Pella outswing door. These are the best doors on the market to keep out the wind, the rain, and all the weather. When you step inside, we're over the wheel well here, so we've got a landing with some drawers underneath. Let's start at this end of the house. Above the bathroom there, we've got a storage loft with a hanging ladder that you can take down and access the loft with. It also has an additional use that we'll show you here in just a minute. Straight ahead, we've got a stone sink with a waterfall faucet and a medicine cabinet up above. To the left, we've got a full three foot by three foot shower with a faux travertine surround. And on this side of the bathroom, we've got our separate composting toilet for off-print living, wood storage shelves, a frosted casement window that cranks out for ventilation in addition to a bathroom fan that also turns on for extra ventilation. All right, let's go on into the living room here. And in the living room, We've got a full-size leather sofa. We've got a folding table. And a special feature here, if we look up here, we've got the great state of Texas flag there. But this is also a Murphy bed. Pull that down. All right, and the ladder here that we use to access the loft is also made to fit the Murphy bed. You just hook it on there and then you climb on up for a good night's sleep. All right, let's take a look at the kitchen. First off, we've got a granite countertop, lots of storage all throughout the kitchen, including toe kick drawers that run the entire length of the kitchen. We've got this beautiful hammered copper sink, goes great with the bronze faucet, casement window above the sink, cool pendant light with the Edison bulb. Above the kitchen you've got this catwalk for extra storage up above. We've got an over the range microwave with the, over the three burner cooktop with an oven. Over on this side we've got a 10 cubic foot refrigerator freezer, apartment size fridge, so lots of space for all your food. And then we've got storage underneath the landing there, going all the way the length of the landing. And a little bit of extra storage behind the ladder. Now let's go take a look at the bedroom. We've got downstairs bedroom in this house, which is a highly favored feature. And this has a king size pop-up bed with tons of storage underneath. You can put probably about 15 storage boxes under there. All right, here we are in the bedroom. You already saw the storage underneath the bed. There's also storage in the headboard. Keep your extra blankets and linens in there. We've got double wardrobes on both sides. We 
is space for hanging clothes and three drawers underneath for folded clothes. And one more little trick here, secret compartment. Keep your pistol in there. All right, let's check out the sleeping loft. We're gonna go up the ladder here, which is fixed in place. And it's got a large sleeping loft over the main bedroom. And it's big enough to fit a king size bed or two twin beds. And as you'll notice, the, there are pillow wood windows up there and all throughout the house, they all crank out for lots of beautiful light and a beautiful view of everything around you. Thanks for watching. We hope you have enjoyed the video and see you soon.